Folks in Alabama continue the long road to recovery and Verizon is on the ground. From donations to support the local community to keeping customers and first responders connected. Tony McNary tells us more. I'm standing in front of what's called a gooseneck. It's a Verizon disaster relief trailer here at Ground Zero in Lee County. We have three of these mobile command centers set up throughout the area. The area that's been hardest hit by these tornadoes. Now out of this particular one, uh, volunteers and first responders, they can go inside, charge their phones, use the internet, uh, watch television, or just step inside to warm up. Well, this is pretty much just a mobile command post. It's our office away from our office. I mean, if you look up top, we've got towers here that broadcast Wi-Fi. Verizon can set it to whatever diameter they need to broadcast distance-wise to uh, get Wi-Fi out to the public. Um, that's crucial because in the, new, in the new technology world, we've got social media, uh, whether that be from the sheriff's office here, whether that be from FEMA, other government agencies that are going to be broadcasting out information. Verizon still does have network coverage in these areas hardest hit here in Lee County. Our network team is working around the clock to ensure network quality for the community as well as first responders. Back to you. Thanks, Tony. The work we're doing in Alabama makes a difference. We wanted to share this comment with you from VZ Web. Sheikha Williams said, I recently joined the V team. That decision meant I had to leave my husband and daughter at home, home being Lee County, Alabama. My daughter happened to FaceTime me right before the power went out. My husband and daughter are fine. Our house sustained little to no damage. It was very soothing to know that we were there in the time of need. I've been a Verizon customer for 13 years. Now I am a proud employee. Thanks a lot. Sheikha, thanks so much for sharing. Glad to know that your family is safe and we're happy to have you as part of the V team. Now, don't forget, Join us at 1 p.m. Eastern on Monday, March 11th, as Hans hosts a webcast from the Leadership Forum where he'll give an update on Verizon 2.0. Make sure you tune in, but if you can't, we'll be live tweeting the event as well, so follow us on social for all the updates. Well, that'll do it for us today. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, you're up to speed.